Hello everyone, I'm Lu Xiqing from Okayama University in Japan. The subject of my presentation today is a study of very cheese problems, a code reading study of C programming. My presentation will divide into six sections. First, I will talk about background and contribution. Next, I will tell you about overview of a very cheese problem. Then, I will present what kind of various problems we generated for C programming. And next, I will show you evaluations in this paper. And next, I am going to talk about improvements of pointer after evaluations. Finally, I will make a conclusion and a brief introduction to my future studies. First, I'm going to talk about background and the contribution. As we all know, C programming is broadly educated in universities around the world as the fundamental programming languages. It is also essential for studying algorithms and computer architecture. As a result, not only IT departments but also other departments are offering C programming courses. Previously, we have developed Java programming learning assistant system, G, to assist Java programming study. G offers different types of exercise problems for step by step programming study. There are five kinds of problems in G now GUP, grammar concept understanding problem, VTP, virtuous problem, EFP, element filling blank problem, CAP, code amendment problem, and CWP, code writing problem. Students can study programming by the following steps. First, study language grammar in classes or textbooks. Next, students can study keywords definitions in grammar by GUP, and then Students can study how to use keyword in source code by VTP. Next, study how to partially write source code by EFP. And then, study how to debug source code by CAP. Finally, students can study how to fully write source code by CWP. We concerned with study how to use keyword in source code by VTP in this paper. Here is a brief introduction to definition of Veritas problem. Veritas problem asks students to trans actual values of important variables in source code. VTP is designed for code reading study for law students. As a contribution, we study Veritas problem for C programming in this paper. We generated 40 VTP instances using source code for basic grammar concepts, fundamental data structures, and algorithms. We applied the loan to 25 university students in Myanmar, Japan, and China. We confirmed the effectiveness in detecting understanding levels of students and hard problems for them. Next, I will tell you about Overview of Virtuous Problem In order to help you understand what exactly Virtuous Problem is, I'm going to explain concepts and generations for VFP, VTP. VTP adopts a variety of source codes that are effective in programming study by law students. Students can correctly answer the questions only by carefully reading and understanding source courses. Any student answer can automatically be marked through stream matching with the correct one. And here is the generation of VTP. First, select a proper, a proper self sort that contains the target grammar keywords and then choose the variables or output messages to be traced in the code and then prepare the 
appropriate questions for asking the values and uh, correct answers. Fourthly, make the input file that contains the source codes, answer forms, and the correct answers. Next, we can run our generation program with this input file to obtain output at DM file. At last, we can make the file to list up the side problems. This graph shows you an example of generation of VTP. In an input field, a source code, a set of questions, answer forms, and correct answers must be prepared first. And this graph shows you user interface. As we can see, students should read the source code first and fill in answer forms, then student can click answer button. After student clicked answer button, if their, correct, if their answer is correct, it will be red background, but if the answer is incorrect, the background will then be red. Students can submit their answers many times until their answers are correct and server will record submission times and answers. Now I'm going to talk about the various problems for C programming. The memory access using pointer is important for implement fasting and efficient programs in C programming. And here is an example of pointer using C programming. As I mentioned before, we generated 40 VTPs in total, and this graph shows you 22 VTPs for studying basic grammar concepts we generated in this paper. As we can see from instance 1 to instance 8, is fundamentals of C programming grammar. And 21 letter memory address and 22 decimal memory address using an important topic of C programming pointer. Next, we generated 80 VTPs for studying fundamental data structures or algorithms. And this table shows you the instance ID, the number of lines, the number of questions, and the number of forms for each instance. As we can see, 28 array pointer and 29 linked list also use pointer in this paper. And 34 to 40 instances use used to source algorithms in this paper. Next, I will show you evaluations in this paper. We asked 25 university students in Myanmar, Japan, and China to solve the generated 40 VTP instances. We analyzed their performance in terms of number of answers, submission times, and correct answer rates. First, we analyzed the performance of the individual students. And this graph shows you the student ID, the number of answer submission times, the number of incomplete instances, and the average correct answer rates for each student. From this graph, we can clearly know that Student 2 is the best student of 25 students because this student submitted every instance just one time and made no mistake. Also, the five, number 5 student had the most submission times and this student got 99% answer rate 
which means the student take it very serious and carefully. However, 21 students had few submission times, most in complete instance and the lowest correct rates, which means this student found it's very difficult to understand this C programming. Next, we analyze the performance of individual VTB instances. And this graph shows you basic grammar concepts from instance 1 to instance 22. From this graph, we can clearly know that correct answer rate of most instances are higher than 19% which means that most instances are of moderate difficulties for many students. However, 22 instances also had the lowest average correct rate of just 54%, which means decimal number address is difficult for students to understand. And instance 23 to 40 is data structure and algorithms. Also, as we can see, array pointer, linked list, reverse publish rotation using stack, and quick sort is no less than 17%. And is problems are hard for students. Next, I'm going to talk about improvements for pointer after evaluations. As I mentioned before, many students couldn't solve instance of pointer and uh, related topics well. To improve understanding and solutions of students, we adopt the following steps. First, we added two new instances on pointer and one new instance on linked list. Next, we changed the questions of one existing instance. Finally, we added hits on how to solve the questions to one existing instance. And here are five improved instances we generated. This graph shows you what kind of changes we made for each instance, respectively. And I will show you an example to help you understand what kind of improvement we generated in this paper. Checking Take link list for example. As we can see, there are just one question before what is the output. But after improvement, we added data type, fleet, and answer choice. To help students understand link list now, I will show you another example of decimal memory address. In this instance, we added heads. Here, here is the construct. From this graph, we can clearly know that we added the size of data type addresses of more variables to help students understand memory address. As a result, we applied these five improved instances to the same 25 students. And this graph shows you the result. As we can see, average correct answer rates are significantly higher than before. 
Clearly, I will talk about conclusion and my future studies. As a conclusion, we generated 40 various problem instances for basic grammar concepts, fundamental data structures, and algorithms in C programming. We confirmed the effectiveness through applications to 25 students in detecting understanding levels and hard problems. As future works, we will generate new VTP instances for other grammar concepts or algorithms, and we will evaluate them in C programming courses. Thank you for your listening today.